Hi, I'm Bryce McCauley, Key Account Specialist at BAPI. I'd like to show you a few of the unique ways people are using our wireless temperature and humidity sensors. BAPI introduced its wireless line in 2007 to give contractors and facility managers another sensing option, especially in locations where traditional hardwiring would be either difficult or very expensive. Hundreds of locations worldwide now use BAPI Wireless as part of their BAS system. At the University of Rochester, New York, BAPI Wireless ensures the right temperature and humidity for a very special resident, a 2,500-year-old mummy. When the HVAC system for the Memorial Art Gallery was upgraded in 2008, the university chose wireless sensors because running new wires through the walls was likely to disturb the sensitive objects in the gallery, including the mummy. One of the benefits of wireless is the ability to easily move the sensor transmitters from one location to another. This benefit paid off right away when temperature readings on the west wall of the mummy display were significantly higher than readings throughout the rest of the room. An investigation found that the wall was actually built over an existing glass window. The sensor was simply moved to another wall and the problem was solved. Besides the mummy, the gallery hosts several traveling art exhibits each year. The sensors in that area are moved around for each show and placed near the items that need special attention. BAPI Wireless was also chosen by the Tabernacle Presbyterian Church in Indianapolis when it was time to upgrade their system. Drilling through the limestone walls was not an option because this would disturb the foundation and running conduit would take away from the interior beauty. So BAPI Wireless was the perfect solution. The sensor transmitters were placed in discrete locations throughout the church while a single receiver located at the base of the pulpit collected information from all the transmitters for the BAS system. Thus, a comfortable atmosphere was achieved without drilling or sacrificing the beauty. And right from the tabernacle to crashing into the automotive market, Daimler Chrysler in Chelsea, Michigan crashes six vehicles per day in order to determine their safety rating. To ensure accuracy of the test, the external temperature of the crash test dummy must be measured prior to the crash. So instead of being used for the HVAC system, the BAPI sensor transmitters are strapped to the body of the crash test dummies prior to the crash as proof that they have reached the appropriate temperature. And as a green company itself, BAPI is particularly proud of our sponsorship of the Cornell University Solar Decathlon team. A solar decathlon is a competition between 20 collegiate teams to design, build, and operate solar-powered houses that are cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive. BAPI's wireless sensors were a perfect fit for the Cornell team because Cornell University has standardized on BAPI sensors for all new construction and energy retrofits at their facilities. Teams in the solar decathlon receive 100 points for maintaining temperature ranges of 72 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit and relative humidity ranges of 40 to 55 percent. Both of these benchmarks were accomplished in Cornell's unique silo home with the help of BAPI's wireless sensors. These are just four of the hundreds of BAPI wireless installations throughout the world. To learn more about BAPI and our wireless solutions, visit us online at bapihvac.com or give us a call at 608-735-4800.